What's up guys? Uh, this is going to be a quick video to show you uh, how to make your stock Sega 12 more reliable when shooting lighter loads such as birdshot and managed recoil slugs. I got these parts from Carolina Shooter Supply. Here's their card here. They have everything you could ever possibly want <coughs> for Sega 12 and others, AK-47s and whatnot. I got this re, um, low brass kit, is what it's called. It comes with, let me just pull it out. Comes with, I believe, a reduced recoil spring. The uh, gas plug, a five stage gas plug, so that it can. Uh, you can alter the amount of gas that comes out based off of the shot that you're shooting. And then what they call the uh, gas tube pluck. Puck. Sorry about that. A gas tube puck. And it is USA. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't really break this gun down a lot, so um, bear with me if I struggle through some of this. Uh, the first thing you want to do is take out your gas tube plug and there is a, let's see if I can get it in here, let's get this on that draw. There is a little, let's see if I can get more light up here, there's a little pin right here, it's hard to see, there it is. It's a little pin. You have to depress that while you spin this to get it out. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, that's out. Now, normally the puck should fall out, but for mine, I don't know if it's dirty or what's going on, but I have to go in the back side. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyways, um, I'm going to take this uh, cap off. I have to get in here to do the uh, reduced recoil spring anyway. So take the cap off. Take this assembly out. Go ahead and take this out. And then I take a uh, rifle cleaning rod that I just dropped. Give me one second. Sorry about that folks. Okay, so in order to get this uh, puck out on mine, I have to use, I'm using this um, right, uh, rifle gun rod, cleaning rod, and uh, there's cat hair all over it. I keep the plastic end on there. Stick it through, get it out. Okay, that should be all we need to do to break the gun down. First thing we need to do is go ahead and pull this, and I believe this is the recoil spring that we pull off, this one. Then we'll go ahead and put this new one on. Just like that. And we can go ahead and reassemble the AK. I'm sorry, the Sega 12. <laughs> Getting confused today. That's the proper alignment there. That's incorrect. That's correct. You want to make sure this bolt is out. So you put it in that groove and then pull it out. And you hold that in place, you stick that in there, and then you push down. Well, let's see if I got this right. There it is. Sorry about that. Now we put the new recoil spring assembly, or the assembly with the new recoil spring on. That has to go in there. 
like so. There. I struggled with that. Sorry about that. Like I said, it's only probably the third time or so I've ever taken that down. So now we put the puck back in, and the puck, the new puck, will have that, the front facing the front of the gun and the tail facing the back of the gun. So we just drop that in like so. Go ahead, get in there. Give me one second. gas tube puck is now in there you can't see it now I'm going to take the new gas tube plug that's still in here and start screwing it on sure why that's not uh, working. It's obviously not in right. There it goes. And you screw this down all the way. You're going to have to uh, probably at some point here depress that little knob in there. Okay, so that's all the way down, and now I'm just going to back it out to where I want it. And for now, I think I'm going to leave it in the middle here. I'm going to go shooting tomorrow with it, and uh, we'll see where we need to put it. And that's it. That should make your gun more reliable while shooting lighter loads. Bird shot, uh, managed recoil slugs, uh, whatever. I will let you know how it turns out. Thanks for watching.